he Man, I'm gonna have to think about this. I'm gonna have to really think about this because you know royalty and royalty acting skills is like she man, I ain't gonna lie, everybody seen it. The girl just can't do she nah, she just sucks. But Hey y'all, uh, it's Destiny. And yes, of course I saw the video Life with Royalty did about these allegations that got out because of CJ on 32s. And yes, I do think Life with Royalty is a bad mom. That's just my opinion. But it's based on things that I see. The most recent thing that has happened is her child getting a fractured arm and not even caring enough to take her to the hospital, to a doctor, to make sure she's okay. In my opinion, that is neglect. The fact that CJ had to take her to the hospital and then they find out that it is fractured and she has to wear a cast, that should tell you something about her parenting. But like I said, that's just my opinion. So in this video, I do want to show you some of her video. I want to give my opinion on what's going on here. This video is, of course, for education. Hopefully, this does help somebody. And once again, I'm not saying that she is lying about the situation, but it does appear that there are some deceptive behaviors. So if you're ready to get into this video, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you are new, and don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you are notified every single time I post. I don't know what she had to go through, so I'm not going to speak about something that's very private, and I know you guys are wanting to know all the details and all that because you are not the detectives, you are not the police, and that's not your job to do any of that. Like I said, I'm very broken, 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 and I'm very disturbed about the whole situation. And there is a lot going on in that clip. Her eyes are darting everywhere like she's looking for the bus. She's pressing her lips together, which could indicate deception. It could indicate that she is holding back from saying something. She also raises one eyebrow, which indicates she could be feeling skeptical about something or even surprised, but she only raised one eyebrow, so I'm thinking it's skeptical. And also when she said she feels disturbed about the whole situation, it really wasn't much emotion when she actually said the words, which to me was kind of weird. Just to know that somebody that my kids once looked up to and called them, called him dad, it just makes it even 10 times worse. So I found this article and it does say facial gestures are among other clues of deceit. Take note of neck scratching and unusual head movements. Flyers will use their head in odd ways. For example, they may try to sell you their lie by shaking their head excessively when they speak. If they remain silent and tilt their head down to the side, attempting to avoid eye contact and thinking very carefully, something is afoot. Ever since I got this information, I just asked myself, every day, like, how and why? I didn't know this was happening to my child. How did it I know? And Real crying versus fake crying. Again, keep in mind, real crying is an involuntary convulsive um, muscular operation. So uh, it's not just that it's going to distort words while you're saying them. I can't believe you would do something like that. <laughs> like that and give you a chance to convulse after. It's going to interrupt the words. I can't believe... <laughs> the words themselves won't come out and there's going to be pauses in between them. And the only thing myself can tell me is that if I would have known this was going on, I would have never been able to see my kids ever again. I can't believe you would do something like that. <laughs> like that and give you a chance to convulse after. It's going to interrupt the words. I can't believe... <laughs> oh. Yes, crying can be inappropriate. Master manipulators and narcissistic individuals can cry on impulse.
They use their tears to manipulate others to feel sorry for them. This manipulation tactic is particularly effective because many people fail to comprehend that a person can cry in order to be manipulative. Covert narcissists love to use this manipulation tactic against genuine, kind-hearted, and compassionate people. This behavior is used as a tool to evoke sympathy, guilt, remorse, shame, pain, and also compliance from the target. She doesn't know anything. Yes, yeah, she denied it. She was scared. She was bribed. She was threatened. Like I said, some people take this to the grave. itching the nose. When we lie, a lot of blood will rush to our face and we'll get hot. And there's a special tissue in our nose that starts to get irritated when we lie. So sometimes people will just give it a little rub. All I'm going to say is the crying. I don't know if I believe it. And the itching of the nose. Yeah, Charmaine was getting very itchy. Just know that I'm very proud of Julia for her strength and her courage. Now, as you can see, she's pressing her lips together once again, which could mean deception or she's trying to hold herself back from saying something. For even saying anything, because it's victims out there that take this to the grave. I found this online and it does say increased drinking or swallowing along with frequent clearing of the throat are potential indicators that a person is lying. And did you see how hard Charlene was swallowing? Yeah. That are scared to speak up about stuff like this because people don't believe them. Or because they're too embarrassed. Guy, let me know in the comment section what do you think are you believing it are you not believing it do you think it's true do you think it's not true got out i didn't want this to happen but since i have to come up here and clear some things up i'm gonna do that do that do that now, here Charlene is trying to make it seem like she's angry that this got out, but I'm not seeing anything in her face that signifies anger. I mean, I know that she is saying the words, making it seem like she's upset that it got out, but I'm not seeing it in her face. And once again, when she said that she had to come out here and clear some things up and she's going to do that, once again, she pressed her lips close together again, which could be a sign of deception, holding something back lying because what did she really clear up i don't think she cleared up anything in this video she actually said in this video that julia still hasn't told her everything that has happened but somehow tanya told us what happened and how long it was happening i don't know y'all it's a weird situation it's almost like you wouldn't want somebody to lie about the situation obviously but Charlene's track record of getting on here and accusing so many different people of doing things, it just makes you wonder. Now this next clip we're going to get into is a live that Charlene did. Julia was sitting next to her. Let's just look at it. You need to go back with certain someone. Okay, let me tell you about this because I'm trying to answer this mm -hmm. question, okay? Now we have to stop it right here because I find it interesting that the child that this happened to is sitting right next to her and as soon as she starts talking about CJ and she says, I'm tired of answering this question, Julia laughs. The text message that CJ on 32's put out said that Julia was scared, she was threatened. Even Charlie put out in her video and said that Julia was scared, she was threatened, she didn't know what to do. But the first sign of talking about this person and this situation, Julia laughs. I find that odd. Of course, we have to co-parent and of course we have to be in each other's lives until our twins get old enough to, you know, fly off and be grown. But that definitely is not going to happen. I've been getting calls and text messages, you know, saying, can, you know, we be a family again? Can, you know, go back to the old days? Can the twins is begging that they want to be honest to be together? And I just feel like that can never happen again because it's just the damage has been done, you know? So it's like, 
I feel like, like I said before, if the person would have, you know, kept it cordial, kept it cute, and not went on the whole internet, made several videos bashing, you know, talking about my whole entire family, from my grandmother to my mother to my kids, and just a whole bunch of stuff that just is too much to even, even, you know, accept anything. So I just feel like just us being cordial with the twins and stuff like that, that's as good as it's gonna get. And um, I don't know, like, I just can't go back to that no more, like, it's just like I said, too much damage has been done. We we basically built each other up. We've helped each other, and I wanted to put this up here. These are signs in children of what they might be feeling and what they might be expressing if this has happened to them. And I wanted to zoom in on Julia's face just to see if I could read anything, if I could see any of these expressions. It looked like she was bored. It looked like she didn't really care. She was uninterested. It's just not giving the fear, the anxiety. I'm not reading any of that on her face. Now, I'm not saying she's not feeling it if this actually did happen, but it's just interesting that a conversation comes up talking about the man that supposedly did this to you and your face doesn't evoke any of these expressions. The last thing you can do is just basically bash us, talk about us, and just, you know, it was just hard. It took a toll not only on me, but it took a toll on my kids, and, you know, they really didn't have anything to do with it. They just basically went with me because, of course, I'm their mom, and just for him to just, you know, just bash my kids for no apparent reason, and, of course, yeah, like I said, we all helped each other, and we were there for each other, but, like I said, you just took things too far. I mean, it was just... It was a sad situation, y'all, but you know, like like I said, it's just sometimes people outgrow people or sometimes people see the real true intentions of people. And you know, I just didn't want to go through certain things with my kids. They've seen a lot since they were young when it came to me and that person. So I just feel like, you know, it's, it's a done data. That's all I got to say, it's a done data. Like I said, this person, he calls me constantly saying he do want to be like a family. Can I give him another chance? And like, I just, I just can't do it, you know? Instead of you begging and asking for your family back, how about start off with an apology? Like a sincere apology, not just to me, not to, just to my mother, but to my kids. Like you didn't took it way too far. You didn't took it way out of pocket. And I just feel like it was unnecessary. Only time could have healed. So, you know, you didn't let the time heal. You just took it upon yourself to just basically bash us, talk crap about us. Like it just wasn't cool at all. So I just feel like, if you can't be a man and you know you. own up to the stuff that you did, then I feel like you haven't changed not one bit. So I just feel like, nah, it's, I'm good on that. I'd rather, you know, just keep it how it is, be with my kids, and you know, I'm just not for that anymore. So I just wish that y'all would just stop talking about that person. Like, it doesn't, it's, it's just hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, it's something that I cannot go back on and I cannot do it no more. Like, like I said, maybe you can start off with an apology, a public apology, not just, you know, half-ass do it, but just do it with your heart, you know what I'm saying? But I don't even yeah, think I, I can even get that, so it's just like, no, I'm good. I'm totally good. You know what? A simple no would have sufficed. Or even just ignoring the comment altogether. And just so everybody knows, yes, this is October 2nd, after, months after she found out what Julia said happened, allegedly, when she was 10. So talking about an apology, so you would accept an apology from CJ Joku? Question, if this happened to your child, would you be looking for an apology? Would an apology be enough? And I feel like Charlene gave us way too many details that we didn't know and nobody asked about. All the comments said is you should get back with that person. They didn't ask you who's been texting who and what's been going on behind the scenes. It was a lot of information. If you want to know if someone's lying to you, here are some really quick tips on how to spot it. Hi, my name is Emily. I'm a coach. I specialize in human behavior and the subconscious, and these are all subconscious cues. Number one, they'll divulge excessive information, way more than you needed to know, like you didn't even ask them. Why are they doing this? They're trying to overcompensate. It's the same way someone who's really insecure will start telling you how great they are. They're trying to overcompensate for their own perceived insecurities. Yeah, that sounds about right. But you know, I just because my mom loved me so much. <laughs> but I know it, it is what it is. But you know, even even if it wasn't a public apology, I just feel like it, he'll probably yeah, do yeah, it for the me, entertainment my for mom made me the, the sake of the fan, the supporters. You know what I'm saying? I just don't feel like it would be what it is because say we do. Charlene, did you make that baby fall in a bucket? I was on my own. She would be like, "Go ask Jamie to help you. Go ask Jamie to buy some Pampers." But Jamie ain't got no job. I thought it was okay for him to push and kick my mom. I accepted that because I thought I loved him. Like I said, love makes you do a lot of crazy things. Me and my mom didn't have the best relationship when I was pregnant with Jalea. My mom barely started coming around after I had Carnation because she couldn't stand him.
You know, I just wanted to put that clip in there because people need to understand that when Charlene got pregnant, her mom kicked her out. And as Charlene said, Tanya did not start coming around her grandchildren until after Carnation was born. So it sounds like during the time Jalea was young, a baby, she would try to ask her mom for help with diapers, with formula, whatever. And her mom said, no, ask the man you had a baby with. And I don't disagree with that part. But why couldn't Tanya keep that same energy when it came to CJ and his children? And another thing, Charlene, the thing that you went through with your mom, her kicking you out, her wanting nothing to do with you and your children, do you not think that might come back on you? If this story, these allegations, everything that's coming out right now is not true, Charlene better be doing everything she can to stay on Julia's good side. And what I mean by that is, if she wants something, you better get it. If she wants to go somewhere, you better let her. Because why would she continue to keep this secret if it's a lie? Do you really think she would continue to keep this secret if it is a lie? If her mother is not doing what she wants? If her mother is not giving her what she wants, doing what she wants, and being her best friend? All I'm saying is, if this is a lie, Charlene better make sure she keeps Julia in her back pocket forever. Because what Charlene and Tanya went through, imagine that, but on a bigger scale. Because what if this isn't true? And then Charlene and Julia get into it. How long will Julia keep this secret? But once again, I don't know if this is a lie, if it's true. I don't know at all. But I will say a lie detector test is a great idea. And of course, not for court purposes, since Tanya did say that this is an open investigation, but the lie detector test would just show you who probably is lying and who probably is telling the truth. But y'all got to let me know what you think about the situation. What do you think about Life with Royalty's video? Why didn't she talk about being upset with CJ on 32s for putting this information out there? Do you think she told him to put this information out there? And if Tanya and Charlene wanted to keep this a secret, why would you tell an outside person? Just let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one. It really was minor, like I said, but obviously it wasn't as minor as I thought it would be. But I'm just glad that she's okay. And you know, I appreciate CJ taking her to um, the urgent care to get her checked down and hey, talk it out so i talked to d-lo and d-lo said that if someone walked up to him and told him that someone else was talking about him he would just say so he wouldn't care he wouldn't walk up to them and start an argument did i ask what the thing? do you have motion yes i do have motion what kind of motion do you have every single motion what type of motion is that <laughs> i would like to know <laughs> i got money i got swag i um I have a YouTube. Okay. Look at why, you know? Oh, I got me a little ugly. Is that me? Here's the birthday girl. Hit him with a dad one time. She don't hit. And my main man right on here, disturbing the peace. That's a little big man. Oh, we are in Top Golf. He's like, we're gonna go to Top Golf. <laughs> Wayne who? Wayne who? Okay. You got a shout out? Yeah. Shout out to yourself. Shout out to yourself. Oh, sweet. Alright. Oh, Daddy, I always have to let you do your I always have to let you do your hands. You can't let Nate and Camille cut the line. What? Nate and Camille cut the line. Do I have to cut the line? They're gonna unsubscribe if you don't let them cut the line? Do she want, do you want your old life back? And I love the videos. Do you want your old life back? Old life? Um, I mean, it was cool, but no. I don't really like all the shine and all the people. What's something you like about your new life than your old life? It's, it's not like having a camera in my face, like forced to be in my face every day. Okay, so yeah, freely.